di Vincenzo Akame, in Italian. If you kind of let your imagination go, um, this actually, if the person, if the artist had an understanding of human respiratory pathophysiology, this is a, a stylized representation of emphysema. Trachea, mm -hmm. the big windpipe breaks into the bronchi, the bronchi get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and keep branching, branching, branching until they end in these little pockets, okay, these little sacs that are called the alveoli. And the alveoli are surrounded by these tiny little blood vessels, and that's where the oxygen goes in and the carbon dioxide comes out. And in normal lung, what you have is a relatively uniform background of very small sacs, okay? Mm -hmm. And when you have emphysema, smoking-related lung disease, one of the things that happens is that the walls between the sacs break down, mm -hmm. okay? And the sacs get large, okay? And they get big and they get floppy and they get dilated. And one of the things that's very important about the sacs being small is that the volume of air that's within that sac has a relatively large surface area with which to interact. But if you take the same volume of air, but put it into just one big sac, the surface area to volume sure. is much nice. less favorable. Yeah. But if you were to look at um, a, an abnormal, unhealthy lung under the microscope, the normal pieces would be these tiny little mm -hmm. bits and pieces here, like this, and you're looking at progressively less normal portions of the lung where the, the alveolar groupings become larger and larger until you finally get to cysts, which are totally pathological. Wow. But that is my reaction as a pulmonologist.